Hey everyone, it's Alexander Robinson. Welcome to the channel. And this is my review for Cocaine Bear, which, yes, is a real movie. No matter how many times I've watched the trailers beforehand, I kept thinking to myself, this is not a real movie. This can't be a real movie that a major studio like Universal put out in theaters. But I saw it on Friday, and uh, I can confirm that it is in fact real. The plot of the movie is essentially the title. I mean, you see a title like Cocaine Bear and see a poster like that and you already know what you're going to get yourself into. But if you want a little more clarification, back in the 80s there was actually an event where a bear ate a bunch of cocaine but ended up dying five minutes later because the cocaine just messed with its body. That's why the poster and all the trailers keep saying inspired by true events. And that's the key phrase, inspired by true events, because what this movie basically does is go what if that bear actually survived? What if that bear ingested all that cocaine but reacted to it the same way people do? I mean, I wouldn't personally know what the effects of cocaine are because I've never had it. Although I do like the way it smells. <laughs> Sorry, that's a, that's a horrible, horrible dad joke right there. Uh, yeah, t today I turn 32. So just another year around the sun means another year closer I get to making more dad jokes. I have to be completely honest. When I first heard the title of this movie, in my mind, I thought it was some sort of Oscar movie because there is a lot of Oscar movies out there or movies that are critically acclaimed darlings that have weird titles like Licorice Pizza or Reservoir Dogs where the titles don't really mean a whole lot when it comes to the context of the movie, but uh, no, in the case of Cocaine Bear, that is actually what the movie is about. Uh, and if you know exactly what you're getting into with this movie, then you're gonna have a really good time. This movie is essentially another When Nature Attacks type movie, uh, but it's not in the same vein as, say, The Birds or Jaws, and it's certainly better than something like Birdemic or Sharknado. Uh, no, what this movie is, it's more like all the Jaws ripoffs that came out in the late 70s, uh, but just used a different animal here and there. But what this movie has that a lot of those Jaws ripoffs Buffs didn't have was more of a sense of humor because this movie is pretty much aware of what it is and the humor it has throughout is pretty on point. You have characters reacting to this situation the way any sane person would like a bear did cocaine and is pretty much addicted to it going on a coke fueled rampage across this national park. It's bonkers. Uh, and a lot of the actors really do know what they're in for. Carrie Russell is the lead in this movie, but I honestly thought she may have been the weakest actor of the bunch because most of the movie is her trying to find her daughter who ran away earlier in the movie with a friend of hers, her daughter's friend more specifically. But O'Shea Jackson Jr. and Alden Ehrenreich do a really good job at being drug dealers and they have great chemistry with one another. Alden Ehrenreich especially has a lot of charisma and he really did get screwed over with Solo. Not that I thought it was a bad movie at all, but it wasn't a financial hit and kind of derailed Disney's plans with future Star Wars stuff especially when it comes to recasting iconic characters. Because Alden Ehrenreich does have a lot of chemistry and with this movie, he's really good. And it's also worth reminding everyone that Ray Liotta is in this movie and this is his last movie, the last one he made before he passed away. And when I watch this movie, he's good. He's actually quite intimidating throughout certain sections of the movie, but I couldn't help but think about Orson Welles in Transformers the movie where you have this really iconic, legendary actor, and their final film is something that, I'm not gonna say it's bad, but it's something you would not in a million years expect them to do. But Ray Liotta was pretty serviceable as the villain. One thing I really appreciate about the movie is that while it has a sense of humor about itself and there's a lot of funny moments throughout, the humor doesn't push the movie over into being a parody because there are a lot of sequences of suspense. Whenever the bear is on the hunt, it can be pretty intimidating. There's a lot of thrills throughout and Elizabeth Banks does a really good job at kind of crafting those scenes to make them 
somewhat uh, intimidating. And the title character of the movie, the cocaine bear, does have a personality throughout. The bear is often very curious, very sporadic, scatterbrained, but uh, when that bear is on a coke-filled rampage, it is really fun to watch. There's a lot of great kills in this movie, and even if the CGI is a little wonky, it's still pretty effective and fun to watch. If I had any criticisms about the movie, I think that there are far too many characters here. There's too much going on with the human characters to where it didn't get to a point where it was overly complicated, but it was kind of unnecessary to have this many plot lines going on in a movie called Cocaine Bear. And also there were a few jokes that uh, kind of went against logic. It's kind of hard to describe this criticism without spoiling sections of the movie or spoiling a joke that actually reveals a big thing about the bear. But uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what I mean. So on the whole, those are really small criticisms. And overall, I had a blast with Cocaine Bear. I didn't love it. I mean, this isn't high art or anything, but it's a well-made creature feature. The actors are in on this movie and know what they're getting into. It's got a sense of humor about itself while also being quite thrilling at points. So I'd ultimately say that this is good, but it's not great. If you go into this expecting something like Jaws, then um, you stepped into the wrong movie because that's not what this is. But I do hope that if this movie is a big enough hit that we get to see a rise in more of these When Nature Attacks movies because they're a fun subgenre of horror and I'd like to see more of them in the future with different animals. So I can't wait to see if more of these movies pop up, even if it's not a sequel to Cocaine Bear, if it's just something else in the wake of its success, hopefully. So if you know what you're getting into based on this review and based on the title of this movie, then I'd say go check it out. And there you go, that's my review for Cocaine Bear. I hope you enjoyed it. And now I wanna know what you guys think about the movie. If you've seen it, what did you think? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, have a good day and take care of yourselves.